Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. So Martin Deister, day one, NAB Show yeah, 2024. How's it going? So far, pretty good. I mean, the booth here is full. Um, day one, we're right at the front of the Central Hall. So we, we got swarmed as soon as the show opened. Fantastic, I like the positioning. Yeah. <laughs> With regards to Telos Alliance, where are you positioned in the industry as a whole? Well, we're an audio product company. Um, we build products for the radio industry, for the TV industry. We pioneered audio over IP, so we have a lot of products on the booth that are connected using AOIP, but we also have processing products as well for radio and TV. So we cover the whole gamut of, uh, of, of product sectors, but everything's audio, audio is what we do. And what are you showcasing here this year at NAB 2024? We've got brand new consoles, so we've got the latest and greatest from our Quasar radio console range. We've got the Telos Infinity VIP virtual intercom platform and we've got new product from our Omnia Forza range, which we're very proud of. That's a, a, a processor for, the, for radio broadcast. We've also got our new next generation audio processors from Linear Acoustic, so the Aero 20, 2000, 3000, hope we got those numbers right. Um, so they are were, they were launched at the show here today. And who are you targeting with these and what are the prospective use cases? Use cases are very broad, I mean from traditional broadcasters in the radio space, um, radio stations, everywhere from sort of as they call them in the states, mom and pop stations right the way up to the, uh, to the, to the national networks. And then in TV it's the same really, you know, um, next generation audio products that handle stuff like Atmos and uh, 5.1, they tend to be broadcasters in the sports space. The intercom is everybody really, and we're doing a lot in cloud as well. So broadcasters who are, uh, who are getting into virtual production, remote production, the cloud products seem to uh, gel with them. So yeah, anybody involved in broadcast who wants cool, cool audio stuff, come to us. And what are you seeing unfolding in the industry in the way of trends right now? Cloud is certainly one of them. So a lot of cloud broadcasting, a lot of people getting into that, finding their way. Sometimes they come and see us, they don't really know what they want, they don't really know what what's out there. I think audio has been left behind a little bit with virtualization, and we as a company are pioneers in that space. So we're trying to, we're trying to catch audio up with what video companies have been doing in the virtual space and, and come up with solutions that really fit the mark for uh, broadcasters, in the, particularly in the TV space, but also in radio who may be getting into cloud. Uh, other trends, next generation audio, the uptake of Dolby Atmos, certainly uh, certainly very important for sports uh, broadcasters around the world we've got an olympics coming up so there'll be a lot of our products out there um, and uh, that the even number of years just keep churning with major sports events so yeah we're seeing a lot of interest in that that sort of stuff too very exciting times and what do you think the future holds for telus alliance uh, growth, hopefully, of course. Um, I think as long as we're innovating, as long as we're listening, building the products that people want, I, I think it's, it's good times. And, and cloud is, is certainly uh, ticking a lot of boxes with people who are getting into it as well. And I love to think what might come, up, you know, come along afterwards, AI, who knows? Um, that's probably what we're all going to be talking about NAB next year. But for, at the moment, it's probably the cloud. That's the big one. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Martin. Thank Have a great you. show. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Good to see you.